I love stories. I love teaching stories and paradoxes and koans and parables. And of course, if you love a good teaching story, there's nobody better than Aesop. And I love Aesop's fables. And um, so I'm going to tell the story of one of the most famous and I think most useful of uh, Aesop's fables. So this is the fable of the wind and the sun. So the wind and the sun were having an argument about who was the more powerful. And they decided that they would settle it with a bet. And what they bet was that they, they spotted a traveler on a road and they said, who was, would be able to get the cloak away from that traveler? And whoever did was the stronger. So the wind went first and the wind turned on his mighty force and blew icy wind at the traveler. and almost blew the cloak right off of the traveler's shoulders. But the traveler was, you know, felt the wind, felt the cold, and so gripped the cloak so tightly that eventually the wind had to give up and say that he couldn't get the cloak away from the traveler. So then it was the sun's turn, and the sun shone down on the traveler, like these beaming rays, and as the traveler walked along, he loosened his grip, and eventually he was, became so hot that he ripped the cloak off and threw it on the ground and the sun won. And so the moral of the fable is that persuasion is more powerful than force. <laughs>